Hello everybody, this is Dream of the Year to kick off round one, part two of the Kakashin Clash Tournament. And while if part one is anything to go by, then we're in for some more blockbuster matches. So without further ado, let's crack on with our first matchup of this session. Right, in the red corner, we have got Satyosaurus. Satyosaurus, you know, has featured, has featured in quite a few tournaments recently. The African Assault Tournament, the Jurassic Tussle Tournament, and now he's in Kakashin Clash. But it's probably going to be a tough match for him because in the blue corner, we got the Rogue, we got the Orange Triceratops. And for those of you that don't know why this guy is in the tournament, it's because the Super Triceratops, which is what this Triceratops is based off of, debuted during the Kakashin era. So that gave me good justification to put the re regular one in. Yeah, I feel like the Triceratops will win this match. It's quite a strong favourite, having the type advantage and all. <laughs> And Satyrosaurus doesn't seem to do well in these tournaments. But he does get the first hit here. Boosh is a stomping hammer. Boosh. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's a tie. Satyrosaurus starting strong. Can the orange Triceratops respond? Oh, he can't! He can't! The orange Triceratops just can't get going! I think the type advantage will keep him alive. Oh, no, well, it did, but the uh, Tapijara dive finished the, the, the job. And it is Satyosaurus that takes a 1 0 lead. But I will say, he did kind of have it all his own way, so. I, I expect a fight back from the Triceratops. So let's see if he does fight back in round two. Right, round two. Will the Satyosaurus continue its impressive start? Or will the Orange Triceratops fight back? I suspect this Orange Triceratops will put up more of a fight this time. Surely you've got to get a hit this round. Oh, well, is Satyosaurus continuing to get hits on the board? Oh, finally, the orange Triceratops gets ahead. Attack boost coming in as well. That will strengthen his might. Oh, well, ma well, attack boost is going to be maxed out. And I think with that buff, any, any hit from the Triceratops will end this round. Ooh, I was close. I almost clicked scissors then, but no, I didn't. <laughs> well, Satyosaurus not going down yet. Getting another hit on the board. A Tapijara dies to come. And it's a much tighter affair this time. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's, that's game over for Satyosaurus. The orange Triceratops gonna even the score with Kamikaze Tackle. <laughs> Roar and victory from the orange Triceratops. Finally putting up a bit of a fight. And let's see if he can complete his comeback in the in this deciding round. I think we're in the same field again. The concluding round between these two. Will Satyosaurus pull off a surprise win over the Triceratops? Or will Triceratops complete his comeback? I lean to, as I said, I think Triceratops will win this matchup. So I lean towards the Triceratops completing his comeback. But how many times am I right in these tournaments? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's zero times. <laughs> I, I literally predicted the Yogark area would win the in the last session and it didn't. Of course, most people would have predicted that. You can't predict anything with random number generator. It's true randomness. Ooh, is this the big break the trite needs? It's a lightning strike. Will this strike the Satyosaurus out of the tournament? Well, but look at the damage. Attack boost as well. And the orange Triceratops on the brink of winning. Ooh, Satyosaurus not done yet. A stomping hammer and a tappy tappy jar a dive to come. 
Satiosaurus not going out without a fight. And yeah, there it is. Game over for Satiosaurus. I don't think this is much of a surprise to see the Triceratops win with a type advantage and all. Job done for Triceratops, but I'll tell you what, he did make it a little bit hairy at the beginning. But yeah, well played by the Triceratops, booking his place in the quarterfinal round at the expense of Satiosaurus, who yet again seems to suck in these tournaments. <laughs> I think his record's really poor. I mean, it's only the Jurassic Tussle tournament where he actually did okay. But anyway, enough about Satiosaurus' sucking us in, this, in these tournaments. Let's move on to our second match of this session. Okie dokie then, in the red corner, we've got the Swan Titan itself, the Ulua Titan. The Ulua Titan could be a dark horse in this tournament, especially with Omega Eel Carcaria already out. Of course, the only way those two would meet would be in the final three, so... Yeah. Could be a dark horse in this tournament. Also could also one that could be a one also one that could be worth watching is the mouthful that is Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus. He's a mouthful, but will he be a handful? Always found this guy's colour scheme to be very interesting. That's interesting, why they went for this? Yes, it's a mirror match between two Ursulas, okay? Why they went for Lambiomag? I mean, there's plenty of Hadrosaurs they could have picked from. Of course, then, I've got to take into account that, you know, there was... A, there have been new discoveries and that, you know, you know what I mean? Right, Ulura Titan Garrett off the death grind. Oh, poor, Lam poor Lambiomag. Wow, that did loads of damage, but let's be honest. A veggie fart does stink, and it does lots of damage to your nostrils. High attack coming in there. Ulura Titan in the lead. It's an all grass affair, and it's Ulura Titan winning the match so far. And yep, yeah, wow, domination from the Ulura Titan there. Not even getting hit. Well, it took damage from a tie, and that's Lambio Mag. Probably still recovering from the stench of the veggie fat from the Ulura Titan. But that gives Ulura Titan the opening to take a 1 0 lead. Right, the O then. Let's get on with round two, shall we? Right, round two, and how fitting that we're in the meadow terrain. The terrain where the grass dinosaurs will have the upper hand. Will Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus prove to be a mouthful, or will he go down like a lead balloon? Ooh! Well, he, uh, he gets a hit this time, and it's a skydive. The Quetz are coming down. Oh, boosh! Boosh! The Dominion Quetz are in action there because you know. Only a Dominion, only a Jurassic World Quetzal would be able to do that. Just pick up a freaking, like, what? Eight, nine ton Ulura Titan? I don't think it would be that heavy, but you know, you know, it, it, it's heavy, alright? It's a fat, it's a fatty. It's a fatty. Ooh, what have we got here? It's a green impulse. In the air for Lampio Mag. As the Tupu Fora come along to. Well, I don't know what it does, it just, like, pounds it or something. Ooh, recovered quite a bit there. Oh yeah, this Lambio Mag is blunder type. I forgot to mention that. Boosh! So ties will help it out, nullify the green impulse, and no more green impulses, I'm afraid. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen! The mouthful of the dinosaur that is Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus gets a neck crusher and has taken the lead. That's a tie. And that tie, even with the uh, tie attack from the Ulur Titan, 
will be enough for Lambeal Mag to even the score. Right, you know what this means? It's all going to come down to this next round. Right then, our deciding round between these two. Lambio Mag finally put up a fight in round two to get themselves to get to this situation. But which one of these grass munchers has enough fuel left in the tank to get the job done? I don't know, I'm, I'm leaning towards Uluru Titan. I think Uluru Titan... Oh, yeah, well, when you start with a crit, you're quite likely to win. I should pull. I should do a stat compilation. How many times does a dinosaur go on to win when it starts with a crit? It'd be a really interesting statistic to find. Ooh, but Magna Crustatus gets the next hit. It's a skydive. Our old friend the Quetzal returning to pick up Ulua Titan and fly him around into some rocks, and then Twisty eats him into the big rock. Lowering its technique as well, which will decrease the likelihood of us seeing green impulse. A tactical play there by Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus. Ty. But Ties do favour Ulura Titan, it's got the tie attack. Ooh, but Magna Crustatus gets off another skydive. What they lack in health, you know, they're getting hits. So Magna Crusade is not out of this yet. And, well, we are pretty much level packing. Oh, this is, this is what it's all about, isn't it? You don't want one-sided matches, it's boring. Ooh, but Urua Titan gets a crucial hit. But, yep, not much damage dealt. All the power is in the crit. Oh, but Lambio Mag gets a hit. It's a big foot assault. Will this be enough to stomp Ulura Titan out of the tournament? Oh, it's enough! Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus proving to us all that he's not just a mouthful, but a handful. Yeah, good good win from Lambio Mac coming from behind, doing it the hard way. Wasn't very flattering performance from him, but gets he got the job done. Got the job done. And Ulura Titan bows out at the beginning. Right, let's move on to our third match of this session, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, we have got the Alpha Suga Minus. Went down like a lead balloon in the African Assault Tournament. Looking to make up for it here. One of my, probably one of my favourite Alpha Dinosaurs. I quite like the look of it. In the blue corner, we've got probably again one of my favourite water dinosaurs, the Gondwana Titan. And you know what I'm going to say. He's the little sauropod with the big heart. Well, you'll need a big heart to take to go far in this tournament. <laughs> like, look at it! It's so cute! Like, it's so adorable! It's tiny! Like this, the Suka Minus is like taller than bigger than it. <laughs> it's adorable. I, I love the fact that they just put the extra effort into scaling it down. I love it. Well, it's Suka Minus getting the first hit there, but again, not much damage dealt. All its power is in the crypt. Oh, this though will do damage. It's a banana surprise. And boy has gone on a Titan in for the surprise. Oh my god, almost killed it! Well, um, wow. Impressive from Sugamimus. Ooh, but the little warrior is not beat yet. Getting off a hit there. Alright, now it's down. <laughs> Alpha Sugamimus. Making quite light work of it there in round one. Taking a 1 0 lead. Pick on someone your own size, you big bully. Right, let's go on with round two. Right, round two between these two. Will the Sukumimus get the job done here, or can our little sauropod 
pull one back. Pull this back. Come on, go on, Monotite. I'm rooting for you, go on, Monotite. Even if no one else is rooting for you, I'm rooting for you. Actually, looking at it, it's got interesting spike designs. It's only got like, little, a couple of spikes in the back of it and a few on the top of the neck. I mean, that's normally something I wouldn't really take note of, but ever since making mods for Jurassic World Evolution, I, I, I have a neutral hatred for these spikes. <laughs> But Gondwana Titan has done me the distinctive favour of only having a few of them. And whilst Super Minus has done me a favour of having none of them. Uh, I, th I think this is going to be it for Gondi. I don't think it's going to happen for him, I'm afraid. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's not count him out yet. Gets a hit, gets a hit. Come on, little fella, you can do it. I have faith. Please do it. Is it gonna die in it? Yeah. It's like if I ever, when I get around to making this for Evolution 2, it's just gonna suck ass and die. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's dead. There it is. Oh, bless it. Oh, it got poisoned as well. <laughs> Add salt to the wounds, why don't you, Suko? Poison it as well. <laughs> Well, that was pretty one-sided, to be honest. Gondwana Titan didn't really put up much of a fight, and Sukamimus, Alpha Sukamimus, comfortably threw to the quarterfinals. Ah, that's a pretty shame, but here we go, it is where it is. Right, let's move on to our final match of this session, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we have got another possible dark horse in this tournament, the Augustinia. The very last water dinosaur to be released in this game? Will it make a splash in this tournament? <laughs> well, it's gonna it has a favourable match because in the blue corner we have Alpha Rajasaurus. Alpha Rajasaurus has similar colour designs to the Giga. And yeah, it's probably going to be t a tough match for him. You know what's interesting about Alpha Rat? It doesn't look like an Alpha Dinosaur. It kind of looks more like a, like a Space Pirate type dinosaur. With the gold in particular. Oh, we start with a tie. Don't really favour anybody that, though. Another tie. Oh, actually, yeah, the Augustinia is blunder type, isn't it? Another tie. Oh, almost messed that up. Another tie. Oh wow, all of all of Rajasaurus's moves are gone. Bloody hell! Come on, look, someone get a hit. Another tie. Oh, finally someone gets a hit. Augustinia gets a crit and is probably going to kill the Raj. Oh, well, it's dead. <laughs> well, in a very extraordinary round there, Augustinia takes the lead. After probably, got to be a record amount of consecutive ties. Augustinia is 1-0 up. Right, I think enough said about that round. Let's go on with round two. Right, you're just hoping we'll have a proper matchup this time instead of a tie tribe. It literally came down to whoever got the first hit, and Augustinia got the first hit. And... So, for that reason, Augustinia has the lead, but can Rajasaurus turn this around? Oh, we're not starting with a tie this time. Instead, it's Augustinia getting the first hit. But it's not a crit. Technique boost coming in there. Which will increase the chances of that Aqua Javelin getting activated. And oh wow, it's a crit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's got defense boost as well. Defense burst, sorry. Oh, not looking good for the Raj. Will we see Aqua Javelin too? Nope. But I think one hit from the Augustinia will probably end this match. Oh, wow. Rajasaurus can't even get... Okay, yeah, it's dead. Wow. <laughs> well, quicker than you can say Alpha Rajasaurus, Alpha Rajasaurus is pulverized. 
And it's Augustinia getting through in it with an overwhelming, dominating, outstanding victory. Yeah, the Alpha Rajasaurus, well, you just, you, you suck. Right, let's have a look at the matchups and in the session. Um, yeah, pretty... I think the first two matches were probably the better better of the two, better of the four matches. The Triceratops and the Magna Cristatus, both earning come from behind wins, doing it the hard way. Nice trait to have if you want to win tournaments. And Sukuma, Alpha Suko and Augustin, yeah, pretty much dominant in their matches. Very one-sided, advancing to the quarterfinals as well. So yeah, not much to say, to be honest. Other than thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and it's a Stranger Gamer signing out.